<laughs> is it fair to say that you'd like to be any place? Anywhere else, yes. Daniel Meehan told the court he wasn't aware of his son's alleged abuse until years later and that he was not aware of any abuse happening at home. David Meehan is the plaintiff in this case suing the state. Daniel testified that he would work long shifts as a firefighter and was not sure what would happen at home when he wasn't there. Next up, an attorney with the Department of Health and Human Services who gathered the paperwork for this lawsuit. She testified about record keeping practices and how over time some records can be destroyed by either a mandate or years of decay. Well, they're required to keep documents for four years um, under that, and so it's it's surprising how much documentation was saved. Last for the day was a psychiatrist that worked with residents before and after their time at YDC, including David Meehan. Dr. Eric Mark diagnosed Meehan with a condition called adjustment disorder in 1995, based on things in his life causing him to act out. In layman's terms. Is it fair to say that Mr. Meehan had significant mental health challenges before he ever went to the YDC? Yeah. During cross-examination, Dr. Mart was questioned about why he didn't diagnose Meehan with PTSD or bipolar disorder, which he has since been diagnosed with. He was asked about David coming forward to him about abuse at home and clarified that he had not given Meehan an assessment for this trial or any time after 1995. And as of right now, the state is expected to rest tomorrow. Closing arguments could start as early as Thursday morning. We're live in Brentwood. Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.